welcome Capricorn to your June insight. What's in store for you this month? Let's have a look and see. I'm using the secret language of light cards. These are the, these are them. And also the Chakra Tarot Wisdom. There we go. Very spiritual cards. But I feel having been through this lockdown, it's made people think about various things that maybe they wouldn't have had the time to think about. And also the kindness that's been shown and the good heartedness, um, the generosity of spirit that has been shared um, really, really, you know, extends out there into the world. So I thought these cards would be lovely to share with you uh, for this month. So let's have a little shuffle and see what we've got in store for you this month, Capricorn. Right, let's pick a card. Okay, so Ace of Swords. <laughs> let go, let it go. The Ace of Swords emblazoned their mind, body and spirit, connecting you from your Earth Star Chakra to your Soul Star Chakra. Um, this is all about being in alignment with yourself. And anything that um, has been an injustice to you or you feel let down or broken hearted or for whatever reason anybody has done to you, this is the month where we need to let it go. Because of the changes um, that we're seeing and the way things are moving forward, that things are changing, it's going to be a slightly different world. It's not going to serve you any use keeping this with you. So you are urged to cut ties with people who don't um, resonate with you anymore. People who have no need to be in your life. Cut yourself free. Okay, let them go. People are here for in your life for a reason or a season or a lifetime. And anything that is toxic needs to be let go of. Because what you're moving into is a different frequency and a different vibration. And it you can tell with, you know, the way the planet is at the moment and this virus. Things are changing and we have to change with it. And change is not easy. I know that um, during this lockdown, I've had a lot of people saying to me, um, well, I really thought such and such a body would have been in touch a little bit more. And I really thought somebody might have rung me. Um, and it's made people wake up to who really is supporting them and who really is in and invested in you. Um, and it's shown it for what it is. So, you know, just allow yourself to release um, that sort of energy because you will feel freer and lighter to move on. You don't need to carry things. And we've not got to. The message I keep getting from Spirit is we need to move on. We need to move on. We need to move on. They want us to move on to get the best of the future for us. Okay. So let's have a look and see what's coming out in the tarot for you, Capricorns. Is there any guidance, anything in particular that would like to jump out at me? Let's see. As I'm shuffling these cards, um, Spirit is saying, peace within, having that peace within and humanity so they're giving me peace love and humanity um with you so i feel as if this is very much um something you felt very deep and i'm also feeling for some of you there's been a very deep shift on an emotional level and a spiritual level for you um as i'm just linking in with your energies so let's have a look and see what the cards want to bring out Right, okay, so we start with the first card, which is the Princess of Cups. Lovely. Talking from the heart, the Princess of Cups. She's um, all about showing love and affection uh, to people around her. 
and receiving that love and affection back. Where relationships are concerned, this is very much about flirty texts, lovely conversations, loving conversations, caring conversations, um, people who matter, yeah? So maybe that's the reason why the first card you got was to let go, because when you let go of the old stuff, the new stuff can come in. This is showing you that there is love and energy and kindness towards you, because you have also given it out. So could be for some of you that are single, some really nice romantic um, conversations coming in around you. Interestingly, I've got the hanged woman, um, but she's in reverse. And normally that would mean feeling stuck. But I do feel that if you have felt a little stinted, a little, you know, stuck in limbo land, this is moving away from you now. Hallelujah. Um, I know on the bigger scale of things with the lockdown, we are gradually moving more into being freer to be able to do things that we want to get back to doing. So this is, but this could be a restraint within you where you felt you've been in limbo land yourself or stuck. And that is moving away. There's a shift here. Now, this card is very, very spiritual too. And it asks you to... Look at things from a different perspective. For example, um, you know, sometimes people say things to us and you think, what were they going on about? Why were they so aggressive? And why were they so um, shouty? Um, you know, you know what I mean? When people are sort of telling a story, but they're getting quite worked up about it. And with this card, it's saying, look past that. It's not actually that situation that's causing the grief. There's more grief underneath them. There's more anger beneath, beneath them. They've been through something that this is a reaction to the way they're behaving. So it's saying look past the surface value. So don't judge people too quickly. Um, if somebody is not is out of sorts, just ask them, how are they? Yeah? Um, because I think you'll find there's more going on with them. Then we have the Emperor, Major Arcana, Aries, formidable. This is Aries, Mars. Um, the Emperor is all about um, order being restored. So for some of you, if things have been a bit chaotic, this is about things being restored back to uh, the status quo. And it's about being proud of what you've achieved as well. Sometimes we forget that we've achieved quite a lot. We don't give ourselves credit for it. For some of you, you could be dealing with um, councils, um, governments, anything political. Um, sometimes feel this is to do with benefits and things like that. Uh, order being restored. So whereby anything to do with councils, anything to do in that respect, um, means that things will be restored for you so it's a good card for that and it's also about discipline um, being restored within yourself maybe you've felt a bit all over the place and this is a good card to get when it's like no this is who I am and this is how I'm going to stick to being because that's my truth and feeling much better about things so and also on another note there's quite a lot coming through for you, Capricorn, besides the cards. Um, it is a very masculine card. And we have to have in each in each of us the, the balance of divine masculinity and divine femininity. So this is maybe putting your masculine side forward in order pushing forward to get what you want. But you will get what you want with this. Okay. We then have the Five of Wands, and it's reversed. I'm going to turn it up the right way so you can see it, but it's actually reversed. So where things have been a struggle, this is a welcome relief. After the previous card, this is saying, oh, this is a card that we're going to say, when you get up out of bed in the morning, you go, oh, not another day, another dollar, you know? Um, so the end of that and things getting a bit easier for you to move on into 
things are not quite as hard or as tough because structure and discipline um, is in place and you are now working in the way you morally feel is right for you. And the overarching card this month is that you may be going to a celebration. Celebrations in abundance here, um, the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is very much about you sitting back and going, hmm, job well done and I'm very pleased with myself. This is yellow energy, so this is a solar plexus. So this is all about your inner child coming out to play. Um, it's fun, it's laughter, it's celebrations, it's good times. It could be that you're finally going to meet up with people you've not seen for a long time. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful card to get. And it, it's sort of kind of going over the whole month there. It's sort of, you could end on a better note. Things coming good, feeling pleased with yourself. Yes, you've had to work hard for it and you've been a bit stuck, but you've come through it because your moral compass and your discipline has got you through order being restored around you. If it's to do with relationships, um, for some of you, you could be meeting a fire sign Aries gentleman, a strong character. They can tend to be a little bit arrogant, but they like to be in control. But that can make you feel very feminine too. Um, there's a protective feel, but they want to do the right thing by you. So, um, but you know, they could have a, a fire sign moon rising. Um, so, yeah, I think um, I would class it more as fire energy. as rather narrowing it down to just the Aries. But anybody with that sort of strong moral compass, compass, um, wanting to do the right thing by you. And celebration. So, yeah, you could be getting a new relationship this month. Um, that'll work quite well, actually. Really well. So it looks really good. For any of you in long um, term relationships that's found it a little bit sticky, it will come right. There's a balance coming in and there's a lot lighter feel with the vibe and the energy of the relationship so i hope you've enjoyed your reading this month uh, as much as i've enjoyed bringing it to you don't forget to look at the moon in gemini that i posted a couple of weeks ago because that looks at the uh, emotional side it runs up to about the third week in june and that would give you a deeper richer look uh, an overview along with this reading uh, and make more sense to you. So take a look at that as well. There's lots of other things coming on the channel um, and also I hope you've enjoyed some of the content that we've posted here as well. So in the meantime, take good care of yourselves and until July, see you all very soon. Mwah.